Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial where I continue creating our RCC building and today we will talk about the grouping and typical level. As you know, if you have some typical level, you no need just on and on copy and copy your floors. No need to do that. We can grouping everything and just copy it once. So this one we will do today. Let me will go to the uh, second level. Here is my second level, and the first thing we should create something to copy it, right? Uh, I have some pictures, uh, reference pictures from the my uh, for this building, and as you can see, here is the typical floor, and we will create it. But we have not only just one typical floor; we have the typical floor, and say under this floor we have like a half uh, mm, half floor. Let's say this two point uh, level point uh, level two, and level two point five two point one or something like that. Okay, we have like a mm, double story room. Let's say, so we we will do that that in this tutorial. Mm, okay, so first of all we need. Uh, transfer our typic wall here. Let me will transfer it, and we need to uh, use the scale it because right now it's not not right as you can see. Uh, we will do everything approximately because, as you understand, uh, we cannot uh, do it one by one. Actually, we or can just say he see here the horizontal scale 200, vertical scale 200. We can go back to the level one because the I think the size of the image is same, and we just can copy the size from the first level. Let me will copy it, and yes, I think it will be right. Now we just or again our floor here let me will hide it i will use just uh, the hh to the temporary height isolate some something and i will use the arrow keys right now and let me i will use the arrow keys and place it somewhere to be mm, yeah it's really hard <laughs> to see it where is that but we will try it yeah it's something like that okay we did it uh, so what we're gonna do next? Actually, this is oh, this is my most most my mistake. This is typical floor. Ah, yeah, no, everything correct. This is typical floor. So we will create now storefront. As you can see here, it's the unique one, and uh, we not will create this part. So uh, this part is almost same uh, from first level to the end, but this part is differently. We will copy only this part in the group. This part we will create another group. Okay, so first uh, let's create the our storefront. I not will try to make it really uh, same one. We will just will use let me I will use the just a curtain wall. It doesn't matter for now, and let's create it like one curtain wall, another curtain wall, again one curtain wall, and just copy it one by one. One another one. Later on, once we will create the group, we will easily to change everything in one group and it will be changed everywhere. So that it's really awesome. So let me first we will create some drafting things. Oh, this is totally incorrect. Let me will do one more time like that. So we created the storefront. Let me will select it. I want to see only the curtain wall and let's see it's going from the level 2 to level 2.5 this is correct and I've set 300 millimeter now let's just mirror it I hope it's the same no it's not same let's use the arrow key and yes now it's same we did it and as you can see it's perfectly fit, fits out here Okay, so what do ne what we will do next? First, I want to select all these uh, again walls. Let me I will create the I will create the walls, and we will start to create the group, and we will call it typical floor. Let me I'll write typical floor, and let's open this group. Now, as you can see, everything outside this group in some uh, yellow color, it means now we cannot select this 
elements. As you can see, we cannot select it. it we are working now only with these elements in group. We can add some elements out of the group. As you can see, we can add it, but we not will do that, of course, because we will create inside the group. Why I'm doing that? Because now we need level three. The typical floor of the level three, it looks like that. And we have here, as you can see, the different floor. It's not uh, with the empty things inside. So we should create here the floor and we should create here the another type of the storefront. Let's do that. First, we need to create the view, plan, floor plan, and level 2.5. It's actually level 3. Next, and now we need the our, again, our picture here. Let me will place it. We cannot select it because we should finish group first. And let's use the scale with the same uh, scale factor. Again, our floor, we will hide it here. Let's try to place it right. Again, everything will be approximately as you understand because um, it's not working like that. It's not so easy to, uh, to fit it. Uh, and let's see what's going on under this level. Uh, we need underlay. Let me, I will find here is the under, underlay and I want to see what's going on on the level two. Because we have the here the storefront, we will try to make it much correct. Yes, now it's much correct. Done. Okay, let's I will pin it. And what going, what's going on now? We should go back to the level two, select our group, edit our group. Let's go to back to the level 2.5. And now we should create our floor. Here is the floor. 300 millimeter, three, uh, it's the our main floor. Uh, and here it will be also the 300 millimeter. And let's start to draw our floor. I'm not remember the um, boundary outside of, I mean, which connected to the our facade, but it doesn't matter for now. We will create it like this, like this. By this axis, we will create it to it will go till here and till here and we will create it like that. We will change everything, we are able to change everything later on, so no worries about that. Of course it will be not correct right now. We now just need something like a draft because after that we will change our storefront, we will change our uh, floor, I mean not will change, we will do it much correct. Right now we need jumping uh, just something to which which is views we can work and like this and uh, I don't want to spend time to create here the drawing line I will select it and I will just mirror it by this axis and as you can see it's perfectly mirror it and now we need only just one line one line and let's connect it. I will use TR, it's calling the tree. And let's say OK. Don't touch anything. As you can see, we get here the floor. Again, I this I know wanna see this floor here. I will hide it. And we need here the storefront. Let me start to create a gates here the storefront. I will create again one by one, like one, two. three, four, and one more, five. Awesome. Now I will select all these storefronts, filter, curtain walls, and let's mirror it again by this way. We did it. As you can see, it's again not right. Let's use the arrows. And now it's right. We not will do anything internal stuff. So we finish with that. Let's finish this group. Let's go back to the now uh, to the 3D and I will show you one thing. Uh, here is the, our level. Level 2, 2.5, 3. But if we, I will, for example, use the section box. Now we can see only level 3, level 2 and level 2.5. 
Where is the my section box? It's now really hard to find it. I hope it's this one. Yeah. Let's bit extend it. And here and here. I will show you one tricky thing. We have now two floors. As you can see here, the floors which is we created uh, with the our model, and that one which is I draw right now. Actually, our floor which we draw before, we should make it smaller till that line. So we should edit boundary. Lose, use the align key. Let me will show you better like this. I will make it section here. Now you can see properly. Let me I will select this uh, floor, edit boundary, align key, and by this edge. And let's say OK. Let's say OK. And as you can see, now it's much correct. Now we can start to create here the um, staircase on the middle side and prepare everything. Okay, so we did it, but the situation, the same situation, it's everywhere. Let me will do like that. And now what we can do, select this group, we did it, you select this group, and just let's copy it, and copy it by align selection levels. Now it's level 2, it's done, it's now need level 3, level 4, level 5, 6, 7, I'm not sure about the eight, but let's no, it's not not not, not eight, only the seven, because we don't have eight point five. Let's say okay. It take it will take the time. Now it's copy paste everywhere. You cannot see it properly, but I will try to show you. Here, as you can see, one. Here, as you can see, two. Here we again should change it. Just let me, I will use the boundary, align. Here I can see the this boundary, I mean the H. Let's change it, don't touch again. And each second level, you should do the same with the boundary. You should do it once. Once you will do that, of course, if your uh, external uh, facade not will change, nothing will change. I mean, in, in inside your geometry. One more time, align, again, where is the, my align key? Align, I say it align, AL. I want to align, <laughs> why, it's, why it's not working perfectly? I'm using the hotkeys and uh, it's sometimes not working, I don't know why. Again, boundary, align key, align, yes. Don't touch. And one more time. Boundary, align key. Oh, not this one. Align key. This uh, H and OK. And as you can see, we did it, except this last two walls. We did it and it's everywhere. Now we have the groups. I will show you. Now everywhere we have the groups. Now it looks like now like a building not just something and the uh, amazing thing what if i will select this group only one group and, and i will try to edit this group i will go for example to the level two and as you can see here we have something like a wall right i think here is the mm, not glazed panel of course because here is the wall here is something uh, not glazed panel but here we know here the wall let me, I will find the wall, some thickness one, like uh, maybe 70 millimeters, uh, this one, interior wall. Double hour will be better, but we will use the one hour only. And wall center line, let's draw it till the hour, till the hour future panel. We did it. Let me, I will go back to the 3D, where is the, this wall? It's some way here. Ah, it's some way here. This one. As you can see. Here we have the wall. But on other level we don't. Once you will finish it. Everywhere you as you can see here you have the wall. Here you have the wall. And each second wall now have I mean each second level have the this wall. So 
now you can easily work only first level on i mean the on the second level like a typical one and once you will change everything inside this group it will be changed everything but be careful please be, be careful if you will change the name of this group for example if you will select this group and you will use edit type and duplicate it now it not it will be another group and it not will be changed anywhere uh, ever, uh, everywhere uh, I recommend you first create the group, do everything right, and only after that copy it by levels. Now I just show you how it's working. So I think now your work will be much easier than it was before because now you can easily work just in one group and you will be sure it will be changed everywhere. For example, here will be the wall. We can waste the, waste our wall. <laughs> Level one. Let me, I will find, ah, here is the wall, sorry, it's not the first one. We can easily now select this wall and extend it till here, maybe extend it a bit bigger, yeah. or maybe we can extend it till the end, because it's the same line. But uh, better, guys, uh, it's really uh, the advice for you, just use this one, just make it differently. Select this wall it wall should be going till here and this wall should be going till here and now you will get separate walls don't make it one wall it's just a recommendation recommendation for you and now as you can see we have like different walls okay once i will finish this type of the walls i have now everywhere as you can see everywhere i have this type of the wall I hope this tutorial is a small tutorial, small trick. It's not actually a trick, it's the Revit function. You should know. Uh, really helps you. Not everywhere you can use the groups because not everywhere you have really totally same type the level. If you don't have the really totally same type level, don't use the groups. It will be make uh, really terrible things uh, once you will work with the groups. But if your walls, uh, if your floors, it's really a typical one on the 99%, maybe 70%, okay, use the groups, it will help you. For this tutorial, guys, it's finished. As always, you can download this file below this video and use it in your own project. Uh, you no need to try to copy what I'm doing. You just can download this type of the file and see how it's working. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.